Ah, damn it. I shouldn't have stopped to smell the roses when I knew I was going to get attacked. Ah, fuck you. I need some health now. Great. Great. You know what I can do? I forgot. There was this here. Please have health. Please have health. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. I can probably just go around, can I? God. Damn it. Oh, hashtag spooked. Hashtag spooked master 111. I am kind of sad that we left her behind. I hope she's okay. Our, our mannequin friend. I don't even know her name yet. You guys gotta give... I hope you guys gave her a good name. And not like poop dick or something. Because otherwise her memory will be fucking ruined. Alright, so... I'm sorry, I'm kind of silent after that happened. I'm just kind of fucking... Too spooky for me. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just way too spooky. Damn it. Can I go in here? Probably not. Come right here. This looks promising. Up we go, I guess. I don't know. Down we go, I guess. This is where I already was. This is where I already was. Is the camera watching me? Okay, it's not on. I think we can safely assume that. God bless our brave war profiteers. Yeah, it's a brave new world, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll find a way out of here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, your, your cute little tuchus. I got this. I got this, Goyams. No. Okay, well, a lot of good that fucking doorknob did me. Oh. Now, any way I can open this, maybe my telekinesis powers. Nope. Can't get through, can I? Nope. Okay, how about that? Ah. Come on. Wow, how did I make that? I have no idea what just happened there, but I'm not going to argue. Aha. What am I standing on? Wow. Holy tippy toes, Batman. I need to remember I can use my slow-mo again now. All of these books. Oh, what are these? No, show me what this book is. Please, no, fuck you. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know why, but I just got a flashback to a book I was reading. Looking at these books, I have no idea. It's the uh, the story of the Langoliers, part of the compilation book, Four Past Midnight. I'm sad by Stephen King. Check it out if you want to, it's really good. It was a shitty B-movie of it made in 2000... Oh, no, sorry, in the 80s, uh, like a TV quality movie. Really garbage, but ultra cheesy kind of takes away all the scariness. If you want to watch it after you read the book, go ahead. Um, but it's, they actually followed the book surprisingly well. Just the execution that was perhaps a bit off. But, you know, whatever, it's fun. Um, now, that being said, there's another book in that compilation called uh, Hidden Window. No, Secret Window, Secret Garden, or Secret Window, Hidden Garden, or, or Secret Window, something like that. And there was a movie adaptation of it called Secret Window, just Secret Window that was made, uh, starring Johnny Depp. Uh, not a bad movie, not nearly as good as the, uh, the book at all. Uh, and the ending was weird. They changed it, just like in The Shining. Any of you guys have seen The Shining? In The Shining, the uh, ending in the movie is actually ex like opposite to what happens in the book. Well, not opposite, but different. While, yeah, in, in the movie, it's it's exactly opposite. No spoilers, but check it out. It's a, it's a good it's a good read. Uh, the book is way better. The book blew me away. I read it in a single night, and I woke up the next morning like, whoa, whoa. Okay, did that just open? Is it just opening and closing on itself? Yeah, I don't know where the fuck to go. I mean, I can go back down that elevator shaft again. However, I don't know what's down there for me. Is it this? Nope. Are there any doors that are possibly openable? It doesn't appear so. This one looks like it might be. It's not, though. There's nothing in there. Okay, I'll go back down here. Maybe I can climb! No, it's not Half-Life 1. Damn it. Oh well, I tried. And we can't get in there. Alright, well, fuck me. What am I supposed to do? 
What is one to do in a situation such as this? I'm going to try this door. If it doesn't open, I'm going to stop the recording session. Nope, okay. So I'm going to stop the recording session here. I'll come back later, tomorrow probably, and record some more. I love this mod. I'll figure out what to do before I record again, I promise. Um, and I'll come back and we'll play some more of this. I'm so glad to be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope they're not shitty. I've been actually feeling very self-conscious of my videos as of late. Like my commentary hasn't been very good. If that's the case, you know, let me know. Um, absolutely. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm not satisfying you guys anymore, but, you know, let me know. Um, anyway, I am happy to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the series. And as, as um, always, check out the uh, indie artist that provided the, uh, the outro song for the series. I mentioned them before, but they are Lay and Cindy R. So I probably pronounced that wrong. They're French Canadians, and they make some fucking stellar music. Ironically, the name of my, their favorite, their, my favorite song from them is Stella. I bought it on Bandcamp. They have uh, their other album for free. So why would you not buy it? And one of their albums has boobs in it. One of the album covers has boobs in it. So if that's not already, you know, enough, then I don't know what else is good for you. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to the Half-Life Saga. Subscribe to my channel. Check out the Saturday streams on the weekends. And join the JMS 101 Skype group to play some games with me and chat it up. So everything's in the description. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. Well, figured it out, guys. Welcome back to G-String. Last time I left off and, uh... Oh, it was just a couple seconds ago. What am I saying? If I, I already realized this last session was cut off and wasn't actually the ending. Um, well, I found my way through. Didn't really expect that to be the case, but... It's this mod, so I figured I might as well try everything. Alright, so, now that we're back through here, we can keep going. Um, I kind of lost track of what we were doing since last time because we got stuck for so long. Is this open? No. Is this open? Man, I, I guess I should try this fireball on basically everything now. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's go up. I think we were going up before. I'm pretty sure that's what we were doing. I hope so. So anyway, we're back, and uh, yeah, it's uneasy as always. This game always makes me feel very uncomfortable, and it's just, oh, it's just like that other room. Yeah, it's just very off-putting. Oh, cool. Damn, I wish I could store more of that ammo. That gun's kind of the equivalent of the uh, Overwatch rifle from Half-Life 2. Um... I've noticed a habit of mine with this with this uh, mod. I, I call it game often because what it feels like. Holy shit! What are these? It said they will rape you. I saw a picture of this earlier and it said watch for these. They will rape you. Holy shit! Does this thing not die? Oh my god. Can I kill this thing? I'm gonna try. Oh. oh god. Oh god, ew, it's gross. What is the bottom part? It looks like it's bleeding. Can it not die? Ah, you have to hit the little red eye, I see. Or maybe that was just coincidence, I don't know. Oh god. Is that grenade live? Guess not. Alright, okay, so things are going okay. Those things don't seem too bad. Luckily, they don't have any sort of ranged attack. That would suck. That would definitely suck. Um. Right. Ooh, it's a nice rug. It really ties the room together. Oh, what is that out there? Is that a giant mural? Holy shit, that's awesome. Yeah, I've lost completely, oh, oh dear. I've lost all semblance of where we possibly are in this world a long time ago, guys. It's been quite a while since I knew where the fuck we were. 
I have a feeling I'm going to open one of these doors and just go back to crazy town. Now, I keep going out of these different levels, but is there any reason for me? They all seem to just be leading me back, like I just go back up the stairs. I'll check all of them just in case, but... Ugh. Wow, 20 FPS town. I don't know why it's lagging so much right now. I've got a very powerful rig that I was just... Am I in love with sadness? Huh. In love with sadness. That's a good band name right there. Tell you what. Alright. Um. So I'm on the roofs. Yeah. I mean, hey, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this is just what happens when you fall down from Mirror's Edge. Maybe this is what's been down there. Sure did it seem a lot brighter from up on top of the roofs. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, Faith had a better had a better off than Mio. Attention, please. Public service reminder: due to the extremely high toxicity of the environment, unsupervised conception and delivery are no longer an option. If you and your loved one have decided to bring a child into this world, you both need to have all relevant genetic codes screened and treated. Then artificial insemination can take place. All months of pregnancy must be spent under strict observation. If your job or other circumstances do not permit you nine months of freedom, the embryo must be deposited in a birth bank. If at the moment you cannot afford standard gene screening and pregnancy assistance, visit the nearest fund branch to request a loan. Do not or join a baby by avoiding professional help. The risk is not worth it. Any doctors who participate in unsafe deliveries will have their licenses revoked and are looking at a to 10 years in jail. Remember, only one child per Wow. So that's that's pretty sketch. Um Am I fucked? Did they capture me? Ooh, what's this? Uh is this thing bad? I saw those before. I don't know if they're actually bad though. Now the frame rate will probably look perfectly smooth to you guys, but for right now I'm getting like 35 and 40, which Unless you've got some sort of adaptive sync or G-Sync going on, does not look so good on your monitor. It looks very choppy. God, it feels like I'm playing on fucking Xbox. I'm sorry, but that's the reality of the situation. What the fuck? Okay, so this is where this mod's gonna be going. We're going to Creepy Town, huh? That's that's fantastic. I mean, look, what the fuck is this? This is what like. Oh god, ew! I don't I don't even have anything to say about that. Nor do I have any idea where the fuck we are. What is this? What is this thing? Can it hurt me? No. Okay. Well, Dawn of the Fed. Huh. <laughs> That's that's funny. That's pretty funny. All right, well, fuck. I guess I'll go this way then. Oh, I forgot to turn off my steam. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, all right. Hopefully this opens. Yep. Crazy town. It's this is gonna be like insanity, isn't it? Is the gas chamber turn on now? Is it am I safe in here? What the fuck is this? No joke here, really. Seriously kill yourself. You are no rationalization for what you do. You are safe full of helpers. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Now, now, back to the show. Okay. Hopefully I don't get ambushed my way out. That's what it That's what it seems like is gonna happen. There we go. Sorry, I just don't like those things very much. They make me uncomfortable when they're floating around. Alright, now hopefully the frame rate gets better. I don't know. It might just be that it's a mod, and sometimes mods have frame rate issues. I don't know. 
Oh dear. Oh, don't tell me I have to make my way down this. Probably not. I'm gonna guess not. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe I could do this. Hey! Look at that. Think of the portals. This is what I'm talking about. Bada bing! Oh god. What? Oh, another elevator. Cool. Wish it wasn't lagging so badly. I don't know whether it's my recording or my computer. My computer is running fine. All the temperatures are in order, I think. I can't really see my GPU temperature right now, but I assume so. I was playing, like, way more demanding of a game the other day, and it was just fine. I have no idea. Mods can just be laggy sometimes. That can happen. Hmm. Hello? Oh, fuck me. Does that one have a cannon? Oh, God. Frag out. Frag out. Oh, come on. What kind of... What was that? <laughs>